Today's tutorial is going to be on Photoshop. The first thing that I want you to do is let's open up the program Photoshop. And what we're going to do this week is we're doing, going to do a quick uh, recap on what we did last week where we looked at the typing tools. And if you go over to the left of your screen there, about midway, you'll see the horizontal type mask tool. We're going to look at that the use of that again because not everyone got it last week. Open up a file, uh, we'll do an open recent and um, we've got the Australian team here and let's say in the Australian team we'll just, I like to duplicate the layer so um, command J will give me another layer and what we're going to do is we're going to come and select let's see, come here over to the left, go two down and select the horizontal type mask tool. When you've got that, making sure you've got the layer selected, make sure, because it's going to be a title, come up here to and center the text. And we've got Myriad Pro bold condensed 60 pixels in size. That should do us for this. So I'm going to go right on this girl's belly button here and I'm going to click there. Now the first thing you'll notice is the screen has turned red. That means we're typing on the right layer. If it didn't turn red, it's not going to create a mask using the uh, picture that's underneath it. So we'll just put Team Australia. T-E-A-M-A-U-S-T-R-A-L-I-A. It's better if you sing it, I think. Looks a bit small. I'm going to come in there and I'm going to make it 160 pixels in height. That's better. It takes up the whole screen now. And... Um, we're going to accept that, so we go up here to the top of the screen where the tick is. Commit any current edits. I'm going to do that. Okay, now we've got the little marching ants, as they're called. And I'm going to come down here to my layers. And in my layers, I'm going to click on the mask tool, which is down here at the bottom of the screen, the way I've got the screen, add layer mask. Now, you can't see it, can you? That's because I didn't make the bottom layer vanish. I'm going to make the bottom layer vanish. And there you have Team Australia, gloriously written in the team outfits that the Australians are wearing. Let's put an outline around it. So we'll go to the FX button, press FX, press on stroke. Now you get a big fat black stroke around it, which is a bit ugly and wide, so we make it thinner. And then the other thing that's going to help us is the drop shadow. There we have a drop shadow. And you would have known by now, if this is going to be a title of a video, I like to put that prop drop shadow up at about anywhere from 14 to 20. Uh, that 13 seems to lift it nicely off the page. Now, I'll give an OK to that. And I'll just save that work. So that's called the Australian Team PSD. So that's got two layers to it now. One is the Australian Team, and the other is um, the layer, like we did last week. So I'm going to close that one, Command S and Command W will close it. 